Hi, I'm Ingrid. If you've ever been outside in a strong wind, you know how powerful it can be. For hundreds of years, people have used the power of the wind to run machines, to do things like pump water and grind wheat into flour. Now we use wind turbines to make electricity from the wind. This is a great way to make electricity because it doesn't involve burning oil, natural gas, or coal. Using those fuels, which we call fossil fuels, releases gases into the air that are heating up our planet, but wind turbines don't pollute in that way. Today I'm going to show you how to build a simple machine that uses the wind, or your breath, to lift a tiny elevator, a little paper cup. You could use a machine like this to lift things from the ground floor to the second floor of a house that you make from shoe boxes or other cardboard boxes. So let's get started. Here's what you'll need. A piece of paper cut into a square, about four or five inches square. Doesn't have to be too exact. And really any old kind of paper will do. Could be construction paper or regular printer paper. You'll need tape, scissors, a push pin, a pencil with an eraser. And here a round pencil will probably work better than a flat sided pencil because a round pencil will spin better, but the most important thing is that it has an eraser on the end. You'll need a smoothie straw, or some kind of straw that's wide enough to fit the pencil through it, and uh, a large cup, could be a paper cup like this one, or a tall plastic cup, or a china mug, just something that'll be stable when you turn it upside down. A small paper cup, like a bathroom cup, and some string. So, to make the elevator, we're going to build a pinwheel. So you take your square piece of paper, and we're going to cut along the diagonals in towards the center, but stop about half an inch from the center. But it's a little hard to um, maybe judge where the diagonals are, so to make it easier for ourselves, we're going to fold the piece of paper along the diagonal to make a triangle, press it down, and then open it up again and then fold it along the other diagonal, press it down, open it up, and then you'll see those diagonal lines. So now we'll cut along them, cut on each of the four diagonals, but again, stopping before you reach the middle. All right, and now we've got our cuts, then we fold in one corner of each of, um, of, each of those diagonals into the middle, and just fold it kind of gently. We don't want to press it down and tape them on, maybe to hold them in place. And now you've got your pinwheel. Now attach the pinwheel to the top of the pencil eraser with the push pin. And you want to make sure that the pinwheel and the pencil turn together, so you might need to use a small piece of tape to attach the pinwheel to the eraser. Now cut the straw in half, and then take the tall cup, turn it upside down, and tape the cut straw to the cut bottom, like this. Now insert the pencil into the straw. The straw is going to hold the pencil and allow it to spin. All right, now we want to make our little elevator. So we're going to attach the ends of a small string, cut a piece of small string, and attach those ends to the small cup to make something like a little handle. And you can attach the ends using tape, like this. Or if you want something a little more secure, you could poke holes in the paper cup and run the short string through those holes and tie the ends. Then tie a longer string to the middle of the handle. And then finally attach the other end of the long string to the opened end of the pencil with some tape. And you can see if you rotate the pencil that the string should be able to wind up around the pencil. All right, now you're ready to test your machine. And a simple way to test it is to blow on the pinwheel. You probably need to blow pretty hard to make it work. I'll show you how to make a little house and then use the elevator with the house. So here I have two boxes. These are shoe boxes. And I'm going to take this one that has the fold up lid and put it on the ground. So that's going to be my ground floor. 
and the lid sort of helps make it more stable. And you could think of it like a little front yard to your house. And then I take the second shoe box and I put it on top of the first one. And I use two little clips to clip them together. And now I have a house with a first floor and a second floor. And earlier I had cut a little window on the second floor that you see here. And now I can put some things inside the house. I have some furniture. These are some little pieces of furniture I made out of matchboxes a long time ago, maybe 45 years ago when I was a kid. Um, and they meant a lot to me, so I kept them. And I can put in a little creature here and another little creature. And now I'm going to set up my elevator on the roof. And if I blow on it, see if I can lift the cup up. Well, I hope you've had fun watching this video. If you want some written instructions of how to make this little elevator, you can go to our website and I put a link to it in the description below. Have fun using the power of the wind. And maybe you can even think of other ways to use wind power. Who knows what you'll come up with.